channel. Oh, you can't, you can't see my, my witch's hat? Let me back up a bit so you can see it. It's a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. But that is okay. That is okay. So I am wearing this crazy funky hat because I am doing everything I can to get into the festive mood. Yeah, raise your hand if you do not feel like Halloween is uh, around the corner. Yeah, that's definitely me. But that is okay because today we are going to be making Halloween cookies. So we will jump right back into that mood and it's gonna be great. We are actually going to be making vampire and spooky pumpkin cookies. I am so excited to do this with y'all because this is the first time that I've actually painted on a cookie. I know. That's gross. So, let's get it started. Okay, so to start off, I ended up making these cookies right here. Um, if you have any questions on how I make my sugar cookies, I have also done a video on that. Um, I use the same pumpkin cutter as I used in my friendly Halloween cookies video. Um, and then I also ordered these lips um, cookie cutters from Amazon and it was not too expensive. I believe it was like $8. But either way, I made these cookies and let's get to decorating them. So our colors for today, as you can see, we've got black, we've got red, and we've got white. So as you guys can see, I also have a whole bunch of it. It is actually because I make, um, I'm making today about 50 of these cookies. Woo, for me. So um, that is actually why mine's up full, but you won't need this much um, based on the size and the recipe that you guys are using. So we also have our piping bags with the red, the white, and the black and um let's get it started so first and foremost what we are going to do is we are going to paint the black that is because we are using layers today so i have a paintbrush nothing fancy smancy um i know that there are paintbrushes made specifically for painting on a cookie for me um we're in a pandemic so i'm trying to save as much money as i can and this is a new paintbrush that i actually got i didn't actually i've not actually used it on um a canvas or anything with painting, so it is brand spanking new. We're going to open up the black and just kind of dip in there like you are painting. First and foremost, I kind of like to start off with big old thick amount of black icing do a little bit of some circular motion so that we're able to get the majority of the cookie, but we don't want to get the ends. We want for the sides to stay not colored because we don't want for that to bleed whenever we are doing our piping, which I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit later. So as you can see, I'm just doing this spin in motion. Trying to get as much as a cookie that I can that is not on the edge. And so as you can see, I got a good amount of that cookie painted. Um, now what I'm going to do is kind of just make smooth those lines out a little bit. And it's fine if it looks a whole mess, I promise because it is going to dry. So I've kind of smoothed that out a little bit. We're gonna do the same thing with the pumpkin. Get a nice big old glab of the black. 
being more of like a circular kind of motion. Um, for me, I just like to do the circular motion because I feel like it takes up more space quicker. And again, we are trying to get everything but the edge. And now we are just going to smooth that out a little bit. You are going to then let these dry. Um, the royal icing, that's the one really good thing, especially when it's kind of thin like this, like the way that we painted it. Um, royal icing doesn't take that long to dry, but um, just to save us time, I am going to use some other cookies that I, I have already painted. Okay, and as you can see, we've got these two. Um, they have already dried. Very nice. Great, and we are going to now start with doing the lips first. So the way that I started the lips is um, I actually started with the teeth first. This one was tricky, but I ended up kind of finding a design that I like the best. And so we are going to first and foremost start off just with a little bit of a bent line, just a curve. And then we're going to go down to make the fangs. All just connected. There we go. On this side as well. And then we are going to do the bottom line of the teeth. And there we go. So I'm going to let that dry. And now I am going to use my red piping. Like I said in my other videos, um, you were just going to start first and foremost at one point and then lift it and just let it fall because you want for these lines to be continuous. See, boom, look how pretty that is. Same on the other side. And boom. Look at that. And now we've got the bottom. So same, kiss that side. Let it fall. And that's why we wanted to not um, put the black layer all the way to the edge is because we want for it not to get past this red. So we've got the outline of the lips. Next, I am going to kind of fill in the lips a little bit more. So we are going to start with the bottom, kind of I'd say like the middle of this tooth. and connect it to that side. And then the same with the other side. So we're connecting with that side and then the middle of this tooth. Great, and so you're gonna look at your cookie and you're gonna try and make the bottom lip, lip um, as symmetrical as you can. So taking the middle of that one as well, middle of that tooth fang, 
and connecting it to the middle of the other thing. Now, as you can see, I don't connect it all the way just because I really don't want for that to go into the white. So I'm going to use my handy dandy toothpick and I'm just going to very gently push that towards the white. Here we go. bottom lip and then we've got the top lip so for this one what I actually did was we're going to start about halfway through the line for the side so about right here and then we are going to go on top of the white line that we created for the teeth and meet on the middle of this line as well. There we go. And if your lines are a little funky, like my icing has been sitting out for a minute, so it's a little funky, um, just always use your toothpick to kind of smooth those over. Okay, so now it is time for the fill. Let's get that white going. And like I've done in my other videos, so make sure that you squirt that but not too much because you don't want for it to go over the piping line. So now we're going to say, take that same toothpick, toothpick and just gently, very gently fill the inside of the teeth. Perfect. If you got a little bit extra fill, um, feel free to kind of put that a little bit more into the corners. Maybe a little bit on top of the piping that we have. So that looks a little bit more uniform. You can kind of hide the piping lines, you know. Just like coloring, you don't want to see the outline. You just want to see the picture. And also um, make sure that if any of those bubbles start showing up, just give those a quick pop. And there we go. Got ourselves some fangs. And now we're gonna take that red. The red is what really seals the deal. So what you saw happens because I was squeezing the bottle way too hard, um, definitely make sure you don't do that. And I was doing that because I had my icing out for a little bit long. Um, so it was getting tough and I was trying to just make sure that it was getting through there. Yeah, definitely don't do that. Um, I would also just suggest that if your icing does get a little bit tough, just take a straw, 
spin that around in your icing. Um, you can also add just like a little bit of water, spin that around, and it should loosen up your icing, and it shouldn't explode in your face like it did in mine. And we're back. So um, I actually am using the cookie that we used at the beginning because now the block has dried. So no harm, no foul. And now let's get started on the bottom lip. Very gently squeezing the red. And just like that, we have our vampire cookie. Oh, we are bringing back the pumpkin. So this one, um, to be honest, out of the two, this one is my favorite. And it is super duper easy to do. So we are first gonna start with the red piping and we're gonna do some outlines for the eyes. So I like for one eye to kind of be bigger than the other one. So just a quick oval. And it can be wonky, the wonkier the better. And then a little one. Perfect. And now we are going to do a spooky mouth design. So nothing too fancy. You're gonna start off in the corner and just make it super rigid. So point up. Great, and we've got the bottom. Aha, and we're done. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Now the top. And you're kind of mirroring what you just did. Perfect. So, um, always make sure that everything looks good. Fix anything that you might not like with the toothpick. I'm making these ends just a little more connected. Great, and now, we are going to the outline.
Great, so now as you can see, we are already almost done. And now it is time for the fill. And also just cross the bottom of the black up here. And a quick tip, um, going with the fill again, just make sure that you do try and get the fill as close to the piping that you can. Um, even if you wanna maybe do a little bit over, but just don't go over the line. Okay, and we have filled in the pumpkin, and now all we need to do is just fill in the top of the pumpkin. And there we go. So on another pumpkin that I did, um, after it dried, I ended up adding like a little squiggle to the top of it, which I think really kind of gave it that final look. Here you go. And this one's a little bit more spookier. And there we go. So here are our two cookies that we've got. We've got our vampire cookie and a spooky pumpkin cookie. Easy peasy. And it only took three colors. Okay, y'all. And that is how I make my spooky Halloween cookies. Um, I am absolutely in love with the way that the vampire and the spooky pumpkin turned out. I also did get my inspiration on Pinterest, as you can see right here. Um, Yes, these cookies are fantastic, and we are not experts, so we have our fantastic cookies, and I'm happy with those. I am proud of them. I'm proud of me. I'm proud of you. But if you actually did do those cookies, please, please, please tag me in them. I would love to see them. And with that, guys, please also make sure that you like and subscribe, and hit that bell so that you can be alerted whenever I post my next video, and I'll see y'all then.